it's kind of scary to think that your career can end like that based on what you said on social media, whether it be offensive or whether it be offensive to a select few individuals. That's it. It's the end of you. That is very scary. I have more on the topic right after the intro. Welcome to News of the Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. My name is Ronnie, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Flash TV series, specifically Harley Sawyer, who plays the elongated man on the series, and it looks like he's a target for controversy. That's right, he's made some offensive remarks on Twitter years ago, we're talking about maybe 2012, and now that they found those offensive tweets, the Flash has decided to fire Harley Sawyer for those offensive tweets. Let's go ahead and read the article. It looks like Team Flash may be down a member when The Flash returns for its seventh season. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Harley Sawyer has been fired from The Flash over offensive social media posts from years ago. Sawyer had played Ralph Dibney, the elongated man, since the fourth season of The Flash. THR notes that Sawyer's remarks were made before he joined The Flash in 2014. The Hollywood Reporter also shared a few examples of Sawyer's resurfaced tweets. Among the tweets, users surfaced in the past two weeks, and I'm not gonna go ahead and read the tweets that they decided to post in this article because they're pretty highly offensive and it's just not safe to say those kinds of things on YouTube. The producers of The Flash subsequently issued the statement, Hartley Sawyer will not be returning for season seven of The Flash. In regards to Mr. Sawyer's post on social media, we do not tolerate derogatory remarks that target any race, ethnicity, national origin, gender, or sexual orientation. Such remarks are antithetical to our values and policies, which strive and evolve to promote a safe, inclusive, and productive environment for our workforce. Additionally, Sawyer acknowledged his post and shared an apology on his Instagram account. My words, irrelevant of being meant with an intent of humor, were hurtful and unacceptable, wrote Sawyer. I am ashamed I was capable of these really horrible attempts to get attention at that time. I regret them deeply. This was not acceptable behavior. These were words I threw out at the time with no thought or recognition of the harm my words could do and now have done today. It's unclear if Sawyer's role will be recast. Ralph Dibney's role was increased in season six when the show introduced Natalie Dreyfus as Sue Dearborn. In the comics, Ralph and Sue eventually married and shared adventures together. The season six finale set up a new Ralph and Sue storyline after she was framed for murder. How do you feel about Harley Sawyer's exit from The Flash? You let me know down in the comment section below. And there you have it, guys. That's pretty much the gist of it. Now, I'm not going to read exactly what the tweets were. You can go ahead and click on the article down in the link be below if you want to read what those tweets were to get an idea of what he said. But on a personal level, I just want to say this. As people, we all make mistakes. We all say stupid things. We all have done things that we regret. We all have the ability to reflect on our past mistakes and think to ourselves, wow, I can't believe I've done such a thing or I said this thing and I was completely unaware of the harm that it had caused all these people. I can't believe I was capable of doing such a thing. And Ralph goes ahead and reflects on that by writing that apology on social media. And we as people do have the ability to develop and grow and reflect on our past mistakes. But I don't think we should be completely condemned for those mistakes. I know to a certain extent or a certain degree that people can't be forgiven for past mistakes such as rape and murder. That is obviously unforgivable. But making jokes isn't exactly as serious as those crimes let alone tweets that were made eight, nine years ago. This is an exact example of what James Gunn did years ago on Twitter, where he made those offensive remarks and misogynistic tweets and racist, racist tweets and joked about it on social media. He got fired from Disney and he couldn't direct Guardians of the Galaxy 3 anymore. But then they decided to bring him back because they realized people can develop and grow and change. I'll tell you this right now. Obviously, I am not a perfect person. Obviously, I've made mistakes. 
I have said and done things in the past, which I will not disclose on this channel, but let me tell you, I have done and said things in the past that have caused harm to other people without me being aware of that. And I've taken it at face value and I've learned and became a better person because of the mistakes that I've done. People should not be condemned, let alone lose their livelihoods because of things that they have said in the past. It's the past. You guys, what you're doing right now, going after people who have said and done things in the past is a crime in itself. You're basically causing this man to lose his livelihood and his chances of getting a new job. Now, am I saying that I agree with what Hartley Sawyer said in the past is acceptable? No. In fact, I think they're inappropriate comments and it was totally uncalled for. He should have never said those things on Twitter because I think it's completely stupid and just downright disrespectful and offensive. I agree to that extent, but I don't think the man should be condemned and lose his livelihood because of the fact he made those tweets in the past because he's now capable of reflecting on that and learning from his mistakes. He learned that Everything he has said and done was offensive to people. He just didn't realize. Look, we were all really young in our lives, and probably some of you guys that are watching this video now are currently young and making stupid mistakes, and you are going to make stupid mistakes. And once you get older, you will be able to look back and go, gee, I was really a stupid kid back in the day. Wow, I can't believe I said that. You're able to reflect and develop as a person. You can develop your character and become a better person. And you can pass on your wisdom to the younger people out there. It's a really, really sick world out there where people really want to target people for their past mistakes. And I can tell you this right now with 100% certainty that these people who have gone after this actor, Hartley Sawyer, have made mistakes in their lives. They have said dumb things in the past that have caused harm to other people and where are their mistakes? How come their mistakes are not being pointed out? Why they got to be the one to play the self-righteous hero by calling out these people such as Harley Sawyer for their mistakes? You're not playing superhero. You're just being a sensitive little snowflake. I'm going to end it like that because I'm personally getting a little bit upset because these kinds of things, these kinds of stories like this really make my blood boil. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Should Harley Sawyer have been fired for those offensive tweets that he made eight, nine years ago? Or should he have stayed and should have the flash given him the benefit of the doubt? Because you know what? People can develop and change. You let me know down in the comment section below. I like to read your comments. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. Later.